so let's uh, draw a square and um, let's um, draw a blue diagonal inside that square here it is and we're gonna make this square um, be a unit square in other words the side is equal to one right, it can be one inch one foot um, one centimeter and we're interested in computing the length of that blue diagonal it's going to be the square root of one to the second plus one to the second and is equal to the square root of uh, two so suppose that we're tiling the floor with unit squares and we're interested in how much uh, blue paint we need to paint the diagonals and um, uh, one of the methods used to uh, in numerical analysis to compute the square root of a number is called Newton's square root approximation. So let's um, let's talk about that. So the essence of the method is that we have a sequence of um, uh, better and better guesses. So guess number one, guess number uh, two, G1, G2, and then guess number three, uh, and then we let's say we keep on guessing and guessing and then we get uh, uh, guess number i g sub i um, and um, as we um, uh, keep on guessing as we guess better and better our guesses approximate the true value of the square root of n right uh, where n is the number that we're interested in. And it turns out that um, um, subsequent guess, guess number i, can be computed uh, from the previous guess, guess number uh, g, uh, guess number i minus 1, so g sub i minus 1. For this formula, g sub i is equal to g um, i minus 1 plus n over uh, g i minus 1 divided by 2, essentially the average of g i minus 1 and then over g i minus 1. So uh, let's say that we have our first guess, uh, g, uh, g1. Then the second guess, given that we have g1, uh, can be computed as uh, g1 minus, oh, I'm sorry, plus rather n over um, uh, g1 divided by 2. Okay, and then uh, once we have the second guess, we can go and compute uh, the third guess, uh, uh, g3 uh, and it's going to be equal to um, uh, g2 the previous guess plus n over uh, g over 2 and um, over 2 g2 plus n over g2 um, over 2 and, and, and so forth so let's erase um, these uh, derivations to give us more space. To work out an example. So let's work out an example. Suppose n is equal to um, 3. So what would be a good first guess? Well, so g1. Well, 1 is um, uh, probably too small and uh, 2 is too large. Uh, Right, so let's start with uh, 1.5. That seems to be a reasonable guess uh, for the square root of uh, 3. So uh, the next, our next guess, uh, g2, is equal to g1, which is in this case 1.5 plus n, which in our case is 3, so 3 over 1.5 Oops, that's not a good 5, so let me um, erase it and um, write it again. Here we go. Over 2. And that's going to be equal to, well, rather approximately equal to, let me grab my calculator and see what it comes out to be. So it's 1.73 two, one, four. Okay. So then uh, the third guess, G3, is going to be equal to our second guess, which is 1.73214 plus um, N, which is 3, over 
our previous guess, 1.73214, and then um, divided by 2. So that's going to be our third guess, and so on and so forth. So the question is, when do we stop? And one method is to basically take uh, guess number i, um, uh, compute uh, its second power, and uh, see what the difference is, the absolute difference is between um, uh, gi to the uh, second minus n. And let's say that we have some very small number, that's our uh, error tolerance uh, level, right? So 0 0.000001. So let's say that if our guess number i um, squared um, uh, is pretty close to n, then we're good enough. So let's um, uh, specify the algorithm for computing uh, Newton's square root um, approximation. So we're going to make a guess. Then we're going to check if the guess is good enough. And that's going to be uh, testing uh, the absolute difference right, right above. And uh, if uh, not, the guess is not good enough, we keep on making guesses. Otherwise, we just stop and return the guess.